It is not good for man to be alone. Sometimes I say that for me is perhaps the first negative statement that God made in creation. Every day he was saying it is good, it is good, it is good. He finished by saying it's very good after creating man. But he, when he came and said it's not good for a man to be alone, what did he mean? Adam was not feeling lonely. What did God mean, it's not good for a man to be alone? Then he said, I, will not, I not only diagnose the problem, but I also supply the answer. I will make him a helper meet. When you read the Bible, God was not necessarily solving sexual problem. He was not necessarily solving a social problem. I believe God was speaking something higher because the one that was brought to Adam did not come to solve a sexual problem. He did not just come to be in a company to, so, to, to solve Adam walking alone. He came with a higher purpose. When you read the Bible, it says, I will make him a helper meet. In Hebrew, it's the word Ezer. I will make him an Ezer, which in Kiswahili is trans translated as Musaidizi. Musaidizi is, a, is not a biblical term, it's a translation. And I think it's not really a translation. It is an interpretation. You know, some Bibles, instead of translating, they interpret. Because of that word, we always think that a woman is an assistant. That's why you hear people saying, behind every successful man, there is a woman. It, it sounds true. But her geographical question is not what makes her effective. If she's effective and if she was in front, she would still help make the man successful. But that's not what I'm talking about. What God was saying was this. The word I will make him a helper meet in Hebrew is the word Ezra. That word is also used in Psalms. Do you know what it means in Psalms? In Psalms, it says God is our helper meet. God is our Ezra. That is the only terminology that a woman shares with God. So if you say God is our assistant, then you are saying you are the boss. But to Adam, he was not talking about mere loneliness. That's not what he was talking about. What he was saying was, it's not good for a man to be like that without a savior. Should he fall, he will have nobody to raise him up. So I will bring one who will be a conduit or a reservoir or a carrier of the Savior. So that should man fall, the Savior will come through this one. So that the Savior will be able to raise him up. A woman came as the carrier of this savior. That is why Christ is called her seed, born of a woman. It's just like now, if a woman, any woman that you know, becomes pregnant, and the government confirms that that pregnancy, she's carrying the president of this country, all security apparatus will be activated for the protection of that woman. People may not talk much about the husband, but the attention will be on the woman. God brought Eve to be a carrier of the Savior. 